Hey there, welcome to another video. Uh, now that you understand the structure of our Shopify app, let's talk about two other um, important components of the Shopify app. One is called App Bridge, one is called Shopify Polaris. Very important, if you understand them, it is very easy for you to design your app, the UI and the structure of your app. So let's start. Um, let's go back to the browser and talk about both of the components. So. Before doing that, let me run the app. I will do this a few times so you get yourself familiar with how I run the app every time I close it and I start again. Again, we will use npm run dev and it should run um, our app. Optionally, you can pass the reset flag if you want to change the development store. Um, that way you can change that if you pass the reset flag. Since we have this uh, code inspired app dev dot my Shopify store, uh, we just test it in this URL. I will please um, comment and then enter on the URL, then open it in the browser. It should uh, load our app and now I can explain Polaris and also um, App Bridge easily for you. Here is the thing this part of your Shopify that you see here. Um, it is an embedded app, so it is running inside an iframe, which I mentioned in the previous videos. Um, some other parts of it, like the title you see at the top, the menu that you have in and the sidebar, for example, you have additional pages. If you click on this additional page, it will take you to another page and the title in here will change. And you can also see the title at the top will change. How all of this will happen and which technology is doing that here? First of all, the design of this app is with Polaris. It is called Shopify Polaris Design System. I'll talk more about it in a minute. Next up, we have AppBridge. You don't touch AppBridge a lot, but it is the AppBridge that allow you to um, talk to Shopify. For example, this part of your app, which is the sidebar and shows all the navigation. If you have a sitting, you will ha add a sitting. If you have a pricing page, you will add a pricing. All of that will be handled with Polaris and Polaris is the one that will communicate with your app um, in a seamless um, setting that you will not see any difference between your app and also the Shopify um, itself in here. That is the beauty of uh, Shopify app bridge that makes this easily possible. If you go to their website, there is a very nice um, image that explains it. Um, this blue is the Shopify site this purple or pink I don't know it's purple I think this one is part of the Shopify Polaris for example if you bring any changes it will show a pop-up that you have unsaved changes and you can save it and it will show it in a nice way so you can understand okay something is not saved and that behavior of saving a change will be the same across all product on pages and collection page and other places for example if i go to my store i'll open the product in here um, you can see this is the dashboard of my product if i create a new product um, i will have an unsafe changes this top navigation menu that you have in here if you want to have this that is possible with shopify polaris luckily the Remix already have this integration and we will use this um, system to see uh, to make all of this uh, sitting in our app. For now, I'll go back to the documentation and this green one is where your app is. So the embedded app will render inside of this um, green um, section and that is where you have most of the control. For other parts, there are some API by Polaris that you can change and it is easy for you to uh, add the navigation and add these uh, other um, unsafe changes pop up in here which is very easy and we will do that in the future videos that is Shopify um, app bridge you have Polaris Polaris is the design system um, similar to Tailwind CSS Polaris is also um, a design system but Shopify build it in a way that you can easily integrate it with your app especially with Shopify app it is not for somewhere else so you cannot use it like Tailwind CSS to design the front page of your website. It is mostly for the Shopify app and the core design of Shopify app. Um, the documentation in the beginning it is a little hard because the search is not very powerful. Uh, a lot of the component you cannot find out in the search. And the other feature that is missing, I requested it a lot, 
is it does not show you the version. So if you are viewing a component and that component is not available in the version that you are viewing, you cannot find that. So a version changer would be great, similar to what they have in their documentation for the API. But uh, unfortunately, it is not in the do Polaris documentation. They might add that in the future, but let's see some of the component. You can start from what is new, getting started. And this is a great place to explore how everything is structured because Shopify will tell you this is the best practice. You have to design your app like this. If you follow the best practice, your app will have um, um, the best badge for Shopify built. If you get five reviews and also more than 15 installs and the design is looking nice, then Shopify will give you a bill for Shopify badge for that. So make sure to always follow the best practice in the documentation that's mentioned. Uh, one thing that I really like about this one is in the design system, and uh, they have um, different types of example. Uh, if you go to the color, and uh, this is how they give you the example of designing. You can get a lot of inspiration from here. And they are saying like, do this, don't do this for the pricing. Uh, you know, like you cannot have your own design, something like this, that they have crossed out but they have some nice example of how you want to display the, the product and how you want to display the, the pop-up. Let's say like, if you, are, if you have a warning, display it like this, not like this, which makes sense. Uh, this is clearly uh, more readable. And some other example that they have, how do you structure the font, the font size, the visibility of this. Make sure you go through this. They have a lot of examples, typography, uh, how you will use the font size and the other thing is if you go to the component It will have an example for each of them. So for example um, There is one for app Page something like this if I click um, You can see this design is built with Polaris. You can click on edit code and it will, it will give you the code um, in the sun, uh, in the code sandbox website that you can edit and bring changes and you also have access to the code in here. It also comes with an HTML um, render version, which is difficult, but if you have if you have used any other languages other than um, Node.js or other than uh, Remix, then you can just copy the HTML and use it on your site. But since we are using Polaris, um, since we are using Remix, we just copy the React component and use it. All of these components are inside the Shopify Polaris. Yeah, this is the Shopify Polaris and this is how we will uh, use it to design the, the website, that, uh, the, the app that we have in here. In the next video, I will create some other pages and show you how we can um, work with routing and creating different pages. Um, please make sure you explore uh, all pages, especially getting sorted the fundamentals, the foundations of um, Polaris. That will help you design your um, your app in the best way. So yeah, that's it on this video. If you have any question, you can comment below the video. Thank you. I'll see you in the next video.